Damn, it really is Toll Tuesday. Good lord. <laughs> Hi guys. Welcome to Lee Reacts. I hope everyone's having a good day. I know I am. And we are back, yes, with Toll Tuesday. Uh, last week I tried to post Crest of an Ave Side 1. Got blocked. Uh, tried to post Side 2 uh, last night. Got blocked. So, I feel bad that we haven't done anything on the channel. So we're going to be doing something from their second studio album, Stand Up. Came out in 1969. And we're going to be listening, wait, what was it called? To the track? We Used to Know. Yeah, and if you want to watch uh, my full reaction to Crest of a Knave plus uh, Part of the Machine, it's on Patreon now. We try to do this every Tuesday around 10 a.m., but um, <laughs> sometimes YouTube works against us, but that is what it is. If y'all aren't subscribed, please help the brother out. Click that icon somewhere down there. I'd really appreciate it. It takes like two seconds. It's absolutely free. Yeah, and you already know. You already know. All right, here we go. We Used to Know by Jethro Toll. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Whenever I get to feel this way, I have to find new words to say. I think about the bad old days we used to know. The first album with Martin. The bass sounds great too. Clive's doing great. There he is. There he is. Okay, Clive, damn. Martin's killing it. Wow. Saving up the birds in hand While in the bush the others land Take what we can before the man Says it's time to go to his own way, I'll go mine. Best of luck with what you find. But for your own sake, remember times. We used to know. Damn, Mark. <laughs> Damn, man. Holy shit. That's crazy. 1969. Clive was on fire, too. That was like a showcase of them, too, basically. Wow. 
It definitely had like blues, folk, and uh, that Jethro Tull uniqueness to it, you know. Um, man, that was heavy though for 1969. Some of them fills that fucking Clive was doing, that was some like proto metal stuff at some points, it felt like. Um, and also, Martin's just absolutely shredding up there. Like, you don't really hear that on their other. Like, I mean, we just finished Crest of the Knaves, so never mind. No, Martin was shredding on that one, too. Actually, now he usually does pretty shred. What am I even thinking of? That <laughs> I don't. Maybe it's like a passion play. I'm thinking of. I don't know. There's like one album where he's not as featured as much, but man, he was really featured here, and he it's like it's his first album with the band too, and he just came in swinging basically. <laughs> that was really really good. He had like a whole minute there of just him going crazy. Um, I think throughout the song, Clive was fucking awesome too. Obviously, he was hitting everything perfectly. Ian obviously is like your dream front man, you know, he can play multiple instruments, he can write songs, he can do all per percussion too, like he did on Crest of a Knave, you know, he can do everything, literally, and he's just got that charisma too, man, he's literally a dream front man, um, and then it's Glenn Cornick on the bass, uh, which you could definitely hear in this song too, I'm glad, I'm glad I picked this one, it was either this video or one from like 11 years ago, and there's a rule of thumb that I always pick the most recent one, you know, just because... Uh, 11 years ago, the sound quality wasn't the best, even though this was only like 480p or something, too, to be honest, I think. Or maybe that was the other one. I don't know. But, yeah, I really appreciated the production on it, too. Everything was clear. Everything sounded great. Um, Glenn Cornick on the bass was, fuck, um, ugh, was fantastic as well. Because um, there was a couple sections there where he was just strumming along really loud, but then when Martin came in screeching for like you know the rest of the song, you couldn't really hear him as much. But in the beginning of the first half, you could definitely hear uh, him just strumming along. He sounded really good. It was like really low in the mix though, but it was there. It sounded good. Uh, but overall, yeah, that was a great song. It definitely felt like bluesy, kind of folks, like folksy, you know, at the same time. But then just straight rock and roll metal. Sometimes <laughs> there was like a little bit of proto metal what Clive was doing and Martin as well. That was really, really good. Like I said, that was a very good showcase of Martin and Clive right there. And Ian, of course, threw his spice in there as well. These guys just don't miss, man. I don't think I've heard a bad song from them. And I've listened to like three full albums and a bunch of other bits and pieces of them, man. They always have something. And this was great. Like, this is screeching. Like I said, it's hot. This is them on fire. Because I know y'all said the first album, they had already... But moved on from that something like it was it came out and they had already started doing something different or something I don't know but yeah you could definitely tell they were more uh, invested on this song and this album I could tell probably just from this one song they were more invested in this album than the last like yeah man this was uh, this is hot right here I definitely want to listen to more from this and if you want to listen to uh, my full reaction to Crest of a Knave like I said obviously it will be on it's on Patreon now um, if you want to go watch it uh unfortunately i couldn't post it i tried um but yeah for some reason if you do like full albums that are blocked like it takes like 30 days for them to come up if they even come up if they allow it you know so maybe in a month you'll see it on youtube <laughs> if it'll come up but if not then yeah it's on patreon so i think that's it on me though i think that's all i got to say thank you for watching guys that was great um it's crazy that 1960 that like just the longevity of this band is fucking nuts in 1969 they were killing it 1979 Oh, I don't know the exact years. Let me not say something stupid. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you know what I mean. Like, just like they have so many different eras and they all just were great. And this is me buzzing off of just listening to uh, Crest of the Nave side too and uh, Part of the Machine. Oh my God, what a song, man. Like, Ian matured so much as a songwriter, even though he always was a good one. But he's like pure poetry in that song. And so is that whole album, man. It's freaking great. But if y'all didn't know, we have a Patreon right there. Go check it out. If you join any of the tiers, you can go watch that video right now that I keep talking about, yammering on about. Um, if you join the $10 tier or up, you get one for your request a month. Um, this is going to be the last month that that's going to be like that, though. It's going to be changing to the $15 for the request because I have so many and uh, supply and demand and such. So uh, capitalism, baby. Woo. Um, but yeah, for right now, join the $10 tier or up and you get one for your request a month. Um, I'll sing your praises. There's an album tier as well if you want to do albums. Um, it's all kinds of stuff on there. we got hours and hours of bonus content. There is... Uh, the couple Beatles albums, um, but ton of King Crimson, just a bunch of random the bands that you probably would enjoy. And uh, yeah, and there's also a PayPal for uh, tips, requests, and anything else. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a good one. Stay safe, stay metal, and get the fuck out of here. <laughs>